so uh, I probably didn't even like say anything about this, but uh, I got that is a front winch bumper, and that is a rear bumper for that. Um, obviously, as you can see, it's a kit from uh, Coastal Off Road. Okay. And uh, a few weeks ago, I took off the other bumpers. This is all my shit right here. Oh, hey, look at that. Forgot about this. That is a, a, a Dana 60. A front Dana 60 out of a, a F350. Yeah. Gonna go in the Jeep. So anyway, I took all the uh, brush guard, bumper, grill, rear bumper, all that crap off this thing uh, the other day. And uh, yeah, almost killed myself when I was uh, cutting the bolts out for the uh, the trailer hitch. Trailer hitch fell, poof, hit me in the back. Um, anyway, so right now, I just took off the, uh, they're called the, the crush cans, I think. Oh, that's what I know. Yeah, the crush cans. I don't know why the hell they would call it that. Um, so, on the directions, the direct eh. directions are very, uh, they're not very clear, let's just say that much. Um, it's not a lot of pictures, I'm a, a visual person, that is a, a 3D picture of the bumper, it just says to drill a hole, but uh, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. It says to do something, and I have no idea what that means. So, uh, I guess as I learn, you'll learn too. Bye. Um, <gasps> oh, my face is quite dirty. Mm -hmm. All right, um, on the instructions, very first step, it says, oh, not first step, second, I know. Second step is says, grind off ed edges, a thin plate located on end of frame wrap. All right, so what it's talking about, um, these right here, this, and that's hot. So this is the frame wrap, and this is the other frame wrap. Okay, so head, these are the pieces right here. This one went right here, and then went all the way around, okay. So, what it means is cut off the excess around the frame rail and then like roughly give it the same shape. So cut it and then grind it. I don't know why I did that. Maybe it just, I guess it got bored. Okay. The first step in directions. In the uh, assembly part, right here, numero uno, says to unbolt these. These uh, these recovery points from the factory. There's one right here. It's this right here. They have these two grade eight bolts. So unbolt these, bottom of the frame rail, and you bolt this up. So it goes in these holes right here. And then for these front ones, you drill a 33 60 fourths. I think is what it said. I don't know. Anyway, basically that's you know a, a 64th from a half inch. And this top hole right here, these ones, are uh, um, 9 sixteenths, I think. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. So you bolt this up here. And then this one through the top here, with the through bolt going through the frame rail. Here it is, first piece. Bolted to the frame. Um, for these ones right here, this is the uh, it's passenger side. The bolts are like inch longer. So you have to use the, uh, the factory hook as a spacer. 
because if not, they'll uh, they'll be too long and they won't bolt all the way up. And this side is just fine. Uh, right now, I do not know if I'll be able to keep this here. Probably not once the, uh, the rest of the bumper's on. So I'll probably have to go to the hardware store, get some bolts to match that side. And uh, yeah. So, please excuse me while I go to Ace, get some bolts, a uh, drill bit, and uh, well, these bolts too. where I left off, but uh, I got nuts welded, I got bolts, and oh, I don't remember, okay, I was going to the hardware store. So these ones right here, and on the other side, they are, there's some sort of weird metric bolt that I could not find at all whatsoever, and I was there for like an hour, and for these ones right here, they go through the frame. Um, they are half inch, half inch bolts by four and a half inches long. I originally got four inch long bolts. Well, I don't know where they are, but they were just too small. And so I had to go back at four and a half. Nuts are welded up. Not the prettiest welds, but it'll hold. Same with this side, also not pretty. Um, you know, this is probably my fault, but right here, <clears throat> focus. And this right here is a radiator line. It's a hard line for the radiator. And mine just barely rests on the plate, so I gotta clearance that a little bit. But, you know. I'll do that when I take it off. So right now, it's all bolted up. And I think the next step is to get the, uh, the vertical plate that goes right here, I think. Huh, let's figure it out. That right here. This, clearanced. Why not? Focus. Well, okay. there we go. Mm. There you go. Anyway, Coast Off Road, if you're watching this, extend this like slot thing, like, I don't know, like 3 sixteenths of an inch. Because I will, you can see the paint is coming off right there on this hard line. Like, clearance that. And for this, my final bolt up, I guess, before I weld the vertical plate on there. I took one of my handy dandy squares. By the way, you should really get one of these. They are awesome. And anyway, I made this the top frame plate. Um, actually, this. That one's bent. Maybe this one isn't bent. Okay, right here. I made the top frame plate flush with the end of the frame right here. Same on this side, so, yeah. And this piece right here, this, uh, well, you know, if I could pick this up, there you go, let's use my big old magnet. Okay, this piece, this is number three. It goes right here like this, except, it's not centered. That's somewhat centered. So it goes like this. Hole right there. And uh, bolt holes right here. And it'll sit on top of the, uh, the bottom frame plate. And you can center it with the top one. It's the same, I guess, width as the top one, so line that up. Make sure there's no gaps right here. Uh, for this, I'm just gonna get a, a floor jack and push it up so there's no gap, and then 
I'll push it and I'll tack from the inside and go outward. So I'll tack here, then here, then here, and here, and then here. Ooh. That was close. Three. That, that used to be a three. It's tacked in. Okay. Tacks here. This isn't really a tack. That was in a. Uh, that was in an awkward spot, and basically I just put some welding material on this plate. So that that don't that one don't count. That's a tack. These that these are tacks right here. So the next step, numero dos. Read it before tacking this piece. And we gotta find four. Please. There's one. And another one. Okay. I guess I should have uh, figured this piece out before I started this. Well, let's read it together. Okay, put the bottom, line number five, on the inner side, five. Five, five, I have five. Five, these are five. These like duck looking things, you know, rant, rant, or however you want to look at it. Those are five. It's two of them. So, I will be right back once I figure this shit out. I don't know, whatever, um, we're on. Uh, four, yeah, four. So, this big plate right here is four. And then, clearly this is five. What it says is tack number five to the inner side of this plate before you tack four to the bumper, all right? So this one goes, it goes this side. It goes. Uh, no, uh. Right here, ish. Right here, like so. Right. And this one obviously goes on the other side. All I did just take my glove off, feel right here around the edge and inside the hole, and buy scripts and then a whole bunch of tacks. Two over here, three over here, and one right here. And then this one will go right here with plate five, right here on this side. Got, before I go on my rant, whatever, I got four and five tacked up. Okay, so it goes flush with this, the bottom frame plate, and then up. So, and this right here is number five. Uh, right here, it makes like a, a shelf for this uh, number six, which is the winch mounting plate. And you can see that this is in the inside. And by the way, make sure you completely grind all the excess metal off the uh, frame rails because I didn't, and now this plate, the bottom frame rail plate is bent. The, uh, the top one inside here is bent. And that just made this, putting in this difficult because I had to cut this, right, cut down here to get it to fit. And so yeah, this would be so much easier if someone smarter than me could figure out this, but uh, I'm all you got right now. Same with over here. You, and you get these magnets, make sure they're 90 degrees, all that good stuff. Tack them. And then this, this winch, winch mounting plate, it's number six. These go on the front, the, uh, these beveled edges. Okay, now for the rant. 
right here. This piece right here is number six. And in the picture it, it shows that it's flush with this one which is four, right here. And obviously, I, no way in hell can I get this flush with this plate because one, this radiator hard line, and two, this, uh, this, I guess, support thing, which on the website it says uh, that you're gonna have to cut the grill, which is, I don't know, it's probably over there with all the rest of my shit. This, I guess they mean the actual plastic piece and this, but they're very unclear about that. So, Coast Off Road. Once again, if you're watching, make a slot right here, okay, for this hard line. And I guess I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do right here. I'll probably just take this off because a winch obviously goes right there. So I can't make a slot and push this back because <laughs> when I do put a winch on there, this will be in the way, so. <sighs> yeah, so uh, I'll get back to you and on number six, I've concluded that the back right here is flush. Okay. So you're gonna have this gap thing right there. At least, you know, that's what I think. It, I'll let you know otherwise, you know. So I made my, my slot right here. Good tape measure. Ah. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead. Tape measure. Let's see. About inch and a half long. All right. So, inch and a half long. Don't know how wide, but you know, it clears. Yeah. So, this plate, number seven. Yeah. So, uh, it goes, right? Yeah, it goes this way. Like, Like so, ish. Just like that. And I got these magnets here. So it's flush with the bottom of this plate. And I'll put some more right here on the back. So it is 90 degrees. It's a, it's a new day. New day. Um, currently, It's snowing like a mofo out here. I don't know if the camera really does it, but it's snowing pretty hard. And it's cold. Like really cold. And uh, so I guess this would be day two of the, uh, the bumper. There's a Jeep. Oh, what's up? So uh, we got quite a bit done last night. I got quite a bit done. Um, my phone died, so that's why I didn't record all that. And as I was tacking the very last piece in for, for that day, I guess, I, I caught my crotch on fire. But not right now, not these ones. Yeah. New pants. I mean, like, big ass hole in my jeans, hole in my underwear, and then, you yeah. know. It kept going. It was, it was not fun. I, I was screaming like a little bitch. I tell you what, I was running around all over the place like, ah! <laughs> anyway. So, sit tight. I'm going to figure out where I left off right before, you know, I burned my crotch off. And, uh, 
this uh, the driver's side wing. That's where I left off. I use this big ass like I don't even know what this is. It's it's kind of like heavy duty cardboard. I guess uh, I don't even know what this is. But I put that on the bumper right here. On. Oh my God! This is dirty. Put that on the bumper right, right here, and then I put like, well, I put like a stick right here so it wouldn't like slide forward. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so I don't know where I left off. All right, right here, plate seven. So I put my magnet things up underneath here to keep it flush and more on the back so it's 90 degrees and I started off by tacking actually I started off by tacking this upside down so I had to rip it off which bent the this part right here so this is my original tack and this one right here so I ripped it off bent these right here this part and Fixed it, tacked it back up. So, after seven is eight, obviously, which is this top piece of the wing. Now I have, I went with the option of the full tube setup. I guess. There's a tube right there. So, some might not have this, this hole, I guess. It might just go straight, you know, from this to there. I don't know. But, uh, right here, there's an offset. That's normal, flush. And I offset this about halfway right here. Because if I didn't, you can see the gap right, right there right there. If I wouldn't have done that, the gap would be like half that. And then it hit and chipped the paint and stuff. So yeah, I did that. Tacked that into place. Uh, used actually this. This right here, this big ass jack thing. And Cranked it up until it was, you know, even gap throughout right here. And then I tacked this piece in. This is number nine. This is not a, a, a B. It's an upside down nine. This hole is for fog lights. And then this piece right here on this, I guess, side, I ground it at a 45 degree angle on number 10. Because you know this is this plate is just square and it didn't fit up right. So. Ooh. I did the same with this plate. Ground this at a 45 degree angle. And yeah, tack this up. This was the tack that got me. This damn tack caught my crotch on fire. Yeah, damn. So, after that side, obviously, is this side. The uh, the top wing for this one has the, uh, the notch right here. This is 16. Uh, uh. Obviously, you know. 16 doesn't come after 11. I'm like, what the hell school did you go to, you stupid motherfucker? I know, it's not the point. I'm just getting a little ahead of myself. So, <clears throat> my gun wasn't here, I'd show you. Come here. There you go. Goes right here. That slot thing compensates for a I guess that's an AC part, but yeah. It goes like this. I'm gonna do the same offset 
with uh, this side as I did that side to make it even. And then you just do the, the same thing with this side, obviously. Except for this 10 piece right here. There's only one 10 piece. And for the other side, it's, I don't know how long. It is, no, oh, never mind. There's two 10 pieces. Okay, never mind. Disregard that statement. So yeah, I'm gonna go weld. Hopefully not catch my crotch on fire again. Just hold tight. I'm done for the day. It's cold. I wanna go back inside. So, all I did was tack the rest of the, uh, uh, what is it? Driver's side wing together. Except 15, back here this, this end cap, I, my welder doesn't reach that far, so I'm gonna have to move this thing. All right, down to the, the nitty gritty. Oh my, my balls. Whatever. So, after 11, it's obviously 12 right here. No voodoo, sorcery, magic, magnet, power thing for this one. I just held it up there, tacked it into place. Um, then after 12, I skipped 13 and did 14. So for this one, I did use magnets. I put one right there, make it flush, one right there, keep it flush, and then one on the inside in here to uh, make it uh, 90 degrees. Tacked it from the inside first so it would bend um, against the uh, the magnet, I guess, and then tacked it in place. And then for this one, number 13, I um, had to do a little bit of grinding over here to uh, make the fit properly. So for this one, I just held it up in place and stacked it. It's kind of kind of tricky to figure out which way this plate gets in here, so you got to kind of trial and error eventually. So yeah, other side. Um, once I do 15, I'll I'll show that too. So other side is completely the same. Except for the the top wing, it's got that notch. But other than that, other side, exactly the same. I'm going to do it the exact same way with this, whatever, this gap right here. And yeah, so after this wing, I guess, finish this part. I don't know, we'll see. It's cold. I'm going to go get warm.